this, uh, this weapon's being brought, whether it's a ghost or a frenzy. Spike immediately being planted. We're only 15 seconds into the round, and 10s will get out of there very quickly. All 10 agents still alive, so the challenge will be for a retake. We'll see if they'll be able to do it. A sick will be the first one in the line of fire. Quite literally, Dapper down. He takes down Steel. Shazam falls too, and 100 Thieves have lost to almost immediately. They're trying to fire back as best as they can. The bottleneck over by A. Sick will be the main impediment there to stop it. He won't be able to get much, but Ethan will remain on one HP. No heal available for him. Nitro fading out a diffuse on the spike. Shroud of Smoke waiting to play around the corner and swing onto the Astro loses the fight. And a Great opportunity for the retake here for 100 Thieves. I mean, you're not going to expect them to be able to get this and the force out from Sentinels. Over by C-Link is going to work great. They'll even get a flawless round to add insult to injury. Beautiful second, so nothing surprising there. On the floor, but the spike's going down. Dapper able to get one on the entry, though, so it's an equal exchange and spike planted. That was a rough look for Tens as he peeked left-right as the attack came in, and he lost his life for it. Asta not trying to retake. He gets spotted. He'll fall back. Recon Dart pulled out as now Ethan will go for a flash and himself. Try to engage, but he has to be very wary of windows. There's multiple angles. He's good for his shots, though, so far. Drone floating on up. A flash comes across, and Ethan cannot outduel Sick, who had all of the all of it working for him there. Dapper with one of his own. He co traded out. Shazam and Dapper now in a 2v1. Steel, almost full HP. He's just going to very slightly creep up on green here, watching the window. Time is running out, though, and he's going to need to run for the hills. He'll catch Shazam, though, as he backs away. But the spike goes off, wire, and right into the middle of the site they go, but oh. 100 Thieves is perfectly placed for that. Steel loses his life for it, though, as he's able to help Asuna pick off one. And now Asuna from Sewers will continue to do that. Pivots for a third, he's dragged down. Now, at least the front of the site is in perfect control for Sentinels. They've also taken the back, so they'll look to lock out a push that'll come from the defender spawn. Spike has not been planted just yet, so Hiko will go onto the Owl Drone, discover that there's somebody down below, and with those marks, fire through the floor. He's got a lot of bullets, and he gets one on the Zalms. Nice bullet pen for him, leaving Shazam to try and carry the load, but he won't. 100 Thieves, it takes five rounds. Players from Sentinel spotted by that cam of Steel, as 100 Thieves are called into action. Steel's utility working wonders, but so is his Vandal. He punishes 10s for that. Trying to clear out the site, but also gain some valuable intel as Shazam. Steel posted up, picks up his second kill before dropped by Zoms. Zoms in the middle of the smoke. He and Dapper side by side are cleaning things out. Could that or not? A pop for intel as Ethan fires to the right, but he's punished. From but it all starts with this pick here. Steel at mid. Now we've seen 100 Thieves peeking mid for information and getting punished as a result. As proficient as they need to be. Spike yet to oh. go down, and the retake from 100 Thieves not working out in their favor. Nitro has a lone kill for their team to punish Zoms, but so far the guns on Sentinels hitting their marks. It's a rare round that the Sentinel side of the map is so heavily tilted in favor of Sentinels that really 100 Thieves haven't been able to do much at all. Spike gets planted, by the way. Steel had everything lined up, oh. but his line of sight knocked off. Advantage in terms of numbers for 100 Thieves, and it will continue to grow. Nitro looking for another steal in on them. There's another flash, this one coming in from Ethan, as Nitro's in a position that goes unpunished! Three kills from the back of the site, and this- Fortunate that Sentinels did not put more priority on that. It's going to be- a Dozen ults that are going to be popped on this pivotal round to see if Sentinels can do the exact same scoreline that they did yesterday. They trade off one apiece. Sick enters and then immediately runs it back. Steel in a rough place with off in hand. Can't do all that much. Zoms punishes him from the cubby. And we'll continue as now Sentinels moves towards C. Sick is on in. Shazam scouting for information. Does he find anything? Looks like he might have. And at the shots, Shazam in particular missing. That's not ideal, but he hits it that time around. Sick taking some damage, but he's trying to decide if it's worth the trade-off. The rest of the team, they managed to do what Sick wasn't capable of. Stall at the top of a short. See if anybody will be able to come to the rescue. Ethan is essentially in no man's land. All by himself, stranded. That spike down as well. Over by Green. He's pistols, so... And he goes from behind. Takes down Zoms as it's now a post-plant situation, and Sentinels know how punishing this has been when 100 Thieves was in that particular position. Asuna loses his fight to Shazam, and now Hiko will be very pivotal. Nitro's in the middle of the site, down he goes, and defusing is going just perfectly, but Hiko finds one before continuing onward. Tag, so he'll be spotted, cannot deal with the double stack up, and Sentinels pick up the very first round. Short, quick action into A. 
Well, Shazam will try to stop them now, looking towards a short. Emerging from sewers. Spike is down, by the way. Six entry kills. His opening picks have been crucial for his team. I now do a jiggle peek now as he retreats ever so slightly. A flash? He's got another Phoenix. The imposter? Down he goes. Sentinels? A flawless round. They're at 11 against three for 100 thieves. Enemy team more than anything. So here it is. The moment of truth. Lack of a re from Shazam. He bird bangs and is going to see the smoke and the paranoia as well from 100 Thieves on the entry. And it's going to be a brawl inside of Seasight now. Enough time for Sentinels to get back. Sick doing damage with Asuna there as well. Both Phoenixes on these teams making their mark. Ethan falls. 3v3. Plenty of time left to go. They'll try to protect Nitro as the spike goes down. Watching Link, watching Spawn, seeing which way they're going to come from. Tens, once this flame wall drops, we'll have a line of sight over towards the Omen, tags him. The Sentinels have the advantage now. Asuna sitting on top of that spike. Tens bursts up, ult in hand. He gets punished for it! And both Hiko and Asuna... Well, it doesn't really matter what weaponry you have if you can't hit your shots. Six starts things off. Steals caught in... Just buying time. Sam will swing up on him. Asuna gets as free of a kill as he's going to get, though it's immediately traded out. Still, these numbers will favor Sentinels. Might actually catch Sentinels off guard, but no, Tens is ready. An operator in hand, he'll miss his shot. Ethan will shut him down. That is about as bad as it could have gone for Sentinels. But they have gotten the objective down on. They've won. This is where things could go from bad to worse, but Ethan's going to get sucked on into the gravity well. He's got the Omen of Nitro looking across. Gaffer looks to the left. They're going to get punished. It's a double swing, and both guys for 100 Thieves, and they've just been baited by Steel in essentially what is going to be a 3v3 now as Shazam tags down Asuna, gets the kill. Spike gets planted as well. Some brief intel onto Ethan. The sick is going to be very, very quiet. He's hitting his shot so far, punishing as many as he can. Sentinels now on the retake are picture perfect so far. Nitro in a 1v2. Playing around this blaze wall is sick. He gets taken down, but Nitro is down as well. And the Sentinels will immediately destroyed. That gives him the information that he needs. Even inside of the site, this blaze wall will protect him, but the paranoia will not. Austin and nails one. Nitro as well. Shazam answers back. Ethan there. Shazam in his position. He's got frenzy in hand in a 1v2, but he loses it in the 1v1 at the final moment with Ethan making it. To a site take. There you go. The bird will give some oh. intel. Tens gets away, taking some damage. They think they've got a clear, but 100 Thieves have been baited on in. Good uh. news for them. They are not caught flat-footed at all. A retake potential now for Shazam as the Hunter's Fury comes out. Intel? No. Ethan will need to go for the plant as it's a drop from Sick using Run It Back to gain information on Hell. Does he get it? That's the real question. Dapper isolated. He's looking towards Hell. He sees Nitro, catches him, swings onto Ethan, and it's a 1v1, but 100 Thieves end up coming out in that duel with Steel. And Here, Parker, it feels awkward, but... Again, tens with the operator in a position at A and clear shots opening up for him. I feel I feel really bad for saying it, but those are moments that really do define the round. The fact that Zoms is able to those rounds. That's it, by the way. The defenders have only managed to take three rounds so far, but they're looking for a fourth on Sentinel's side. At least if Sick can do anything about it. The confidence on Austin as he's gonna spray away, but he gets dropped oh. by tens. This is oh. huge. Three big kills from tens. And the last one is what? he going 4K! Tens put- Trade himself out, but tens unfortunately wasn't. We all have those days though, that's normal. Now Sentinels have to fight to avoid over time, and they've just got barely one rifle, a Sheriff, and three Spectres. This is for uh, push on to B. You can see the Sage Wall come out from Sick though. He's gonna try and give himself some more cover, but Asuna is just better in that fight. And now the control is starting to go hard in favor of 100 Thieves. Asuna trying to work around the box as best as he can, but the Frenzy from Zom's close range punishing on to two as Asuna and Nitro can't get anything for it. Finally, oh. Zom's is punished in this position. Maybe Shazam up above. He finds Steel and then immediately moves forward. Bit of a slow bit of action before Shazam then steps into it. And he intends clear sight to themselves. That's the real question. But immediately, Sentinels, well, they take a step forward. Down goes two members. But oh, oh Eco, a beautiful shot as he, with the collateral, takes out both Sick and Dapper. Spike is down as well, so 100 feet is in the post plan. The Shazam can't hit his shots close range. Ethan punishes him for it. Steel trying to delay, as is the Viper of Zoms. Even though 100 Thieves will continue to collapse onto the two last defenders. Out they go around the wall. Zoms is good for one, but he's going to have to do a little bit more as it's 1v2 around yellow. There you go. You have enough time. Waiting to try and see if Ethan's going to bait. Ethan goes for just a jiggle peek. Wasting as much time as possible. 
This is a fruitless wow. fight. Zoms knows that he's out of it. Whether he'll get the kill or not and ultimately perish to the spike is anybody's guess. It's fingertips. Spike getting planted yet again from 100 Thieves, and they will scramble out of the site as Steel tries to wait out the Sage Wall that's up in Tube. Viper ult expended by Nitro as he's going to blanket the spike in surrounding area and will excel at those close quarter fights. Asuna gets spotted by Zoms though. Dropped he is, and Nitro in the midst of this pit. Kill out dual Zoms as he sees the Hunter's Fury just go on by. Still just watching these angles. Seems to be a bit slow on the retake here. Should walk away with his life. Information goes. Nice play by Dapper, but ultimately it doesn't matter. It's not going to have an impact whatsoever. Unable to land the shots that he needs to and will immediately head back to the ropes, but Sentinels are getting in on the board. Shazam and Sick in particular. The ult from Jet working favorably for them. Two from Sick now as, well, a thrifty round. And Sentinels, in the snap of a finger, end up collapsing. Test. Unfortunately for him, he misses most of those shots as Tens now evades the Silva ult and grabs Ethan before immediately getting out of there as quickly as he can. He's worse for wear, though. Oh, Zoms is not, by the way. And he'll lose vision now before Tens and Dapper go down to Nitro, just gunning through them, leaving Zoms in a 1v2. Spike is down, so he's working against the clock as well. This is where things get tough for him. They don't have any intel as to where he could be, but they know it's going to come from over towards spawn. Zoms with one, he gets tagged, and he'll have to back away. Tagged yet again. Left, right, beautiful oh! shot from Zoms. Goodness gracious! He'll hop on and get the defuse, and the round goes in favor of Sentinels. What a shot! Waiting out this Viper ult. That's not going to be easy to do. Steel, speaking of, we were talking about him earlier with that Guardian. He's going to land his shot, and Hunter Thieves was securing a site control. He's still got Dapper in a good position to re, and there it is on the entry. He's actually might be able to stop the plant, but no! Off the plant comes Nitro, and he will... Obviously, and that... Forced by, effectively, by 100 Thieves ended up being a thing of beauty. Well, for 100 oh. Thieves, they're looking to add insult and injury to Sentinels, who the attackers. Tens oh. on the flank. They know he's there. They go right by oh. him. No, are you kidding me? Tens, how do you win those? He then manages to finally stop him, but Tens' damage is done at this point. Spike isn't down at all. Unfortunately for Tens and oh. the rest of his team, they've been punished now, leaving Dapper in a 1v2. Dapper... Not landing his shots through those two rounds. Both times, one rifle. It's doable, but not ideal. Well, Tens is not able to continue that good streak that he has when it comes to the Sheriff in hand, and neither is the rest of Sentinels, as they are finding themselves at the mercy of greater firepower from 100 Thieves, who just whisk their way into the site, and have now just lodged the two final members of Sentinels. A flawless round shaping up for 100 Thieves. One they're gonna need to grab the spike and get the plant down, and that's exactly what they're doing as Hiko gets Shazam, leaving Zoms in a 1v5. 1v4 now, so Flawless is not really possible. Zoms will need to drop, and some noise will be made, but before he utility thrown out, and an uh, ultimate as well. From Steel, as the lockdown goes down, and nobody's caught whatsoever. Nitro, beautiful spray transfer, that's two for him. Now looking very keenly to get Dapper, who doesn't see to his left. No real perspective there for Nitro, as he'll continue to walk away. Taking some damage, though, Spike down. Things working out so well in favor of 100 Thieves as they've got line of sight, they've got some area denial, and the re-entry for Sentinels is going to be fraught with peril. Doms will need to look to his left as Nitro is positioned over there. Asuna sees him, though, and denies Nitro a potential kill, but Nitro gets the fourth anyway onto Shay. But mm -hmm. an ultimate that'll come out. It'll stop Asuna, who immediately crouches, hoping to not get hit, but oh my, Dapper just manages to glance off of one shot onto him before he falls backwards. Tens ends up getting punished for that as Asuna walks in, taking some more damage from Killjoy, but Asuna's got control of the back line. Dapper manages to shut him down and will now need to try to stop the spike that's been planted? Planting? No, they were trying for it, but they think otherwise. Steel still has control and could possibly go for it when he wants as both teams trade back and forth and back oh, and forth they go. Spike is surrendered though, and a wall will go up now to stop them from getting it. This is where we can finally see the Sentinels gain their footing. Nice shotage. The wall is actually going to work for Hiko, as he can now cross to his preferred position. But he has to get the spike now, which is on the other side of said wall. It's going to be a fight by Boiler. Hiko doesn't seem to know, but he's realized now. Fake out with the rope, and it's going to work! Zoms losing the heads up! Gunfight! Hiko keeps the streak. Mm. 
Can we keep being slow? Sight control. Asuna, though, shutting down Shazam as he tries to get out of lane. And another for Asuna. He just can't miss right now. Except for that fight, apparently. Sick will get away, but it doesn't really matter. He has to plant that spike. And all he's going to do is be the final kill for Asuna for heal. And he can start moving into sight. And it's the Spectre of Ethan to shut down Sick on that entry. And more damage being done to Tens, too, as he's going to try to shrug off some of that shock dart. He gets punished by Ethan. The one opportunity that we got to see for him, it was good, but not good enough. I'll be able to grab the weaponry and fall back now as Sentinels will need to get that spike planted at some point. Ooh, nice long range shot from Steel. First playing the Guardian, now on the Marshal as it leaves Zombs to defend himself against the remaining players from 100 Thieves. Econ Bolt goes out, he's spotted, and Nitro will stop. Do or die, as you would say, as 100 Thieves are getting chased off of their position, but they fight back. What? Steel in particular, two beautiful kills, and a third as well for him soldiering through the smoke won't find more than that but that's more than good enough as Austin is there for backup Shazam will need to do his best but it's not good enough try hard you're there and, and the, to add insult to injury for steel he used the sheriff to get the job done he, you even saw him honestly he got a little bit greedy going for those pushes but at that point it didn't really matter and his team was there with the support to for three rounds now well, you're going to hope to get an early pick and then maybe fetch one of their weapons. And for Sick, that's very much a possibility. Nitro is the first casualty, and it comes at a time where 100 Thieves really don't need the round as much as Sentinels does. So Sick, another one. Ethan, no. Punished for it. A 3v4. Sentinels have opportunities here, and they have plenty of time to work with. Still a minute to go, but Steel shuts down Dapper, putting us back onto a 3v3. Oh, this is difficult. Steel just not missing much, and there it is. Three for him, cutting off the flank, and to lock that round out. So, map point here for 100 Thieves and Sentinels. I mean, they're going to bring together some sort of buy, but it's it's not a full. It, it's just the best they could do is now from Sentinels. who Come from over towards Garden. There you go. First kill comes from Tens. He doesn't have the Sheriff in hand, but that's fine. He's got the Ghost. Sick finds one of his own. And Sentinel's entry to the site, well, it's working out in their favor. Spike will also go down. This is more akin to the tempo on attack that we saw from Sentinels on Haven. And if they want to keep this one close and possibly even win it, as there is some doubt from the analysts, they're going to need to emulate that speed on Haven. As for Tens up in Hookah, well, there's a smoke in front of him. He'll have to fight his way out of that position. Sick in a pivotal spot. He's playing inside a garden. He's got the Astra right next to him of Zombs. Uh, added insurance policy. A bait onto the smite. Great shot from Asuna as he now looks for more. Beautiful onto a second cake and a third. Dapper shuts him down. Ten springs in and will immediately back away as the Sentinels in sight itself. But nope. Sentinels were playing far back. Playing for a retake on their own planted spike. Aggressive play from Asuna and he'll pick up one. Tens with the Leer to try and force out the fight for his favor. He'll win it, but he's traded out by Nitro. The aggression here from 100 Thieves is so far paying off, but Sick is going to try and punish. He'll be successful. Steel reads onto Zombs elsewhere. Spike down now, and it's just Dapper in a one versus one against Hiko. Weapon advantage and HP advantage. He can land the shot. Thieves will now have some firepower. But just like we saw on Haven, if they pr don't prevail here and things are already looking pretty grim Jeez. for them as Steel dies very early on, Sentinel's looking to take up control over towards B, but Ooh. no showstopper. In fact, it's Ethan who stops it. The rest of the team is in for some fun, putting Hiko and Nitro having to retake, and they're going to be coming from their spawn. No spike down, what? not just yet. Nice shot from Tens, and Nitro's position is given away too. He's going to run location, but... 100 Thieves know that an A take is coming, and they're lined up for it perfectly. I actually took a lot of damage by Showers, but it's actually going to be Hiko who dies first. Tens trying to take a second, and he is not going to manage it. The entry in through short, working out really well, but it's a rotate through the teleporter, and now a play for B. Ethan peeking from U-Haul, and he'll get two with the Sheriff! Huge kills! Asuna has a bit of hesitation right now. Spotted one, two, transfer from Zoms, cleans up the site. Four in a row from... I have an operator as well in the hands of Steel as he peeks out the mid. Oh, and he connects with it beautifully. Won't be able to get back to safety, though, as Shazam ends his reign. Ethan went on to sick. To retake into B when that comes to that fight, and it seems like Sentinels are going to commit. They do so perfectly. The wall fuck, he gets fired away, but it doesn't matter. There's no target in his line of sight. Asuna now has another advantage and an angle, and he'll play next to the one portion of the boxes that you can't shoot through. 
Nice pre-fire from Dapper, who's now going to go for that spike planted down. Spike planted. Nitro and Hiko working together. Some decay, but they're back to full HP. Side by side. In the sight. Trying to get intel. Dapper waiting. More of that obscuring poison in front of their very eyes. The toxin is low. Well, they'll need a reset. Nitro through U-Haul. He gets tagged by Shazam and brought down, leaving Hiko to try and clutch one for Hiko. He's going to go for the spike. Do they know it? Is he baiting it out? Oh, he is. Or at least he's trying to. He falls off and Dapper punishes him with the... Going in as well. Mass confusion will ensue on the site. They'll all creep up, try and take up as much ground as possible. Ethan's shots do not land. Dappers and Zomzes do, but Asuna's good enough. Oh. He go on top of tens. He's silenced. They'll need to get that spike down immediately as it was on five seconds. Steel with Operator in hand, but he's not going to be able to see anything, so he switches it out for a Phantom, and in he goes. But he doesn't see anything. He'll pop his own ult, and then a cage goes out too, using his utility, but Zom says... Fripty round. It really impressive stuff. This moment right here, Shazam not full clearing his corners. That's unfortunate. That that was rough to watch. And the early aggression we saw from Showers, that trade is very telling though. And it's actually going to be a stick though from Sentinels. They go for the plant. They might be able to make this happen, but Hiko stops it. Enz does get the re. Spike in hand. He can teleport to B as they know it's mostly clear, but Steel with the push up. On Market is actually going to stop that rotation for the most part. Ethan with the big res. Asuna back on the board means that this is a two versus four now. And Nitro is in a great position thanks to his teleport, but he'll still lose the fight to Sick. Sick, speaking of it, Long is going to be marked by the camera, but he might be able to pull that out before he gets to the fight. Nice shot as Seal goes down and Ten's getting Asuna inside of Puka. It's now suddenly Ethan against the world. He had a big round last round. Can he do it again here? Nice shot onto Ten's. He's got to challenge Long whether he knows it or not. 72 HP for Sick. And that's going to be a heal up for Ethan. Now in a much better position. The nade out there. And it's a shot landed. But a nade landed as well. Sick with the paint shell. Die for 100 Thieves. The money situation is not great. And Steel spent a lot of money on that operator. But boy, his shiny new toy it manages to do what it does best. 100 Thieves so far trying to stop them. But a showstopper punishes Steel. No cypher for them. Nitro getting some shots through the smoke. He's but an inch away. Taking down Zombs. Fighting from the same spot. But he'll be playing to die. 100 Thieves on cleanup duty now as they will oh. do just that. The whole site is there. He was better on the shots last round. He's going to try for a second time. But no, Zombs is on top of where that spike gets planted. Eco drops sick back to a 4v4. A lot being expended here is, you can see, the vision, not ideal for either of these teams. Sentinels will stand pat, try their best to gain intel as they can. Eco will just pop around the doorway. Asuna Whoa! gets swung on. Ten should have no business winning that fight, and he does anyway. Shazam with a kill on to Ethan before he repositions, and now he's going to look a little bit farther away. The good news is that he's been able to soften up these players. Four Zombs to collapse onto one, and Tens finally hits his mark on the other half, which will be in just a matter of a minute. As Hiko in showers is waiting for a potential late push. Sentinels, though, they lose their very first casualty. It's Shazam to go down, and now an ultimate also being oh. called in. An answer back, though, as Hiko in showers gets punished for it. Dapper will walk away with that one. A brief look into the setup from Sentinels will obviously help 100 Thieves, and good enough to get Dapper down, but these teams are just trading down to these dry peaks because he's got nothing working in his favor other than that. He's got Steel pushing the site from the other position on the map. There's Ethan with one on to tens, leaving Zombs in a 1v2. Now, any momentum that you possibly carry over, you're going to need it for the next pistol round. He gets swung on by Steel. They're back from the dead. A flash coming out. Hiko trying his best with his ulti. He gets shut down. They fall off of the spike. It's just absolute oh. chaos. Back he goes, and Ethan's not going to be able to do it. A clutch from Zoms. Pretty good on defense. You pointed out, by the way, that this is usually a defender-sided map. So for that, the fact that it's 10-2 for the attackers on Sentinels, being able to exploit those weaknesses in 100 Thieves, being, oh, what? being able to take advantage of it. And of course, the gunplay is always going to help. They've been mighty fine in these pistol rounds so far, and it is obviously costing 100 Thieves over and over again. Eco lined up to duel Dapper, and he wins that one, but his position inside of Showers, well, they know where he is, and they're going to bury him in there. Let's go in Viper. But it's the on and off command play that you could just kind of decide when you want to be keeping something that renders such a, a difference for these rounds. Well, you've been able to trade back and 100 Thieves looking to try to hang into this one. They find themselves staring down the barrel of a bad situation in terms of weaponry, having lost that very first pistol round. And they're also on the razor's edge of this matchup. The winner obviously moves on. 100 Thieves have a nine matchup win streak on the line at the moment. The Sentinels themselves 
have six. So no matter who loses here, that streak is going to be broken. The loser of this matchup will play up against Envy, and we'll see who it is. It still could be Sentinels, by the way, but 100 Thieves have played a lot going for them. Oh. And they need to start quickening the pace. Now, here's the thing. Shazam is going to try to just narrow them down as best as he can. Dapper's watching in that area. He knows that he just saw Nitro dance around the wall. Out comes Hiko. Nitro's last up. So Dapper will have to shut him down. And with it, it could be match point. Nitro will wait for the Toxin in front of him to disappear. Peeking around, he looks to the left, but they've just goes for 100 Thieves. They've managed to put in good work in that round, and with a full buy, they can make some noise. So 100 Thieves are definitely down, but they are not quite out yet. Clearly, they've got a lot left to go, uh, and they are showing us that they are perfectly capable of executing with or without a Viper or an Astra. So, uh... 100 Thieves run up outside of Fuka as well. This should be a pretty fast action. And there it is. A showstopper fired out, collects on the Zoms, but amidst that ensuing fight, Sentinels come out ahead. Ken's waiting for the smoke to clear. Insight grabs one, sick is oh. another. He goes last one left. He's done for in the find here on the attacking side, but it's so difficult to make a comeback happen when you're already down so badly. Now, revealing area. You're going to see some recon early on here from Shazam. He just wants to see what he's dealing with at long. He's going to drone it out as well. And he's going to find this execution from 100 Thieves. They're already stacking up.